trading, tech reviews, how to's, and much more. I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror wirelessly with your Samsung Galaxy S7 or S6 or the S6 Edge or the, 7, or the uh, S7 Edge as well. Okay, and we're going to be using a device. It is called Screen Beam Mini 2. Now, if you guys are familiar, you guys are probably familiar with Chromecast 2. It's very, very similar, but there are pros and cons to both of these, okay? First of all, with Screen Beam Mini 2, um, you do not need a Wi-Fi network in order to connect. With the Chromecast, you have to have Wi-Fi network. If you have no Wi-Fi network, then you cannot do nothing with this. With the Screen Beam Mini 2, you don't need, a wi you don't need to connect um, with a Wi-Fi network, wireless network, you don't even need mobile data. You can connect it directly because this is a direct connection that's going to be with the Screen View Mini 2 directly to your phone. Okay, the only thing is you're going to, if you're going to be streaming media like um, videos on YouTube or Netflix or whatever, you do need some kind of internet connectivity. So you, if you're going to view videos, then you can use your wireless network or you can even use mobile data. With the Chromecast, you cannot use mobile data, okay? Well, there's a way you can use mobile data, but it requires like a hotspot, requires two Android phones. It's a pain in the butt to do, okay? So again, there are pros and cons of both. Uh, with this one too, Screen Beam Mini 2, you're actually able to connect your laptop wirelessly rather than opposed to using like an HDMI cord, you can just go wirelessly and, and uh, mirror everything on your laptop to your TV. But I'm gonna, I already did another video. I'll put a link below where I did that. Uh, in the description below okay so the s7 and the s6 here they're both they work exactly the same way okay for the screen beam mini 2 the only difference is how you connect so let me just start off with the s7 here first and with the s7 what you want to do is you want to scroll down here and you want to tap on this down arrow right here and now to connect you want to where it says right here it says smart view okay it's not screen mirror it's a smart view so tap on smart view Okay, it's automatically connecting um, to my Screen View Mini 2. So it's connecting you now. Magic is about to happen. Okay, and there we go. Now it's mirroring right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get off of this right now. And let me show you how to connect on the S6. Okay, S6, what you want to do is scroll down, tap on Edit. And then it says right here, screen mirroring. Tap on screen mirroring. And then once you're here, let me tap that again. Edit, screen mirroring. Okay, it's automatically connecting again, but it's, uh, once you go into screen mirroring, you give it the option, the uh, SBWD, and this is a direct connection, guys. Okay, so it's connecting right now. Okay, now we are in business. You can see that we are live and we are screen mirroring here. Okay, so I'm going to be going over a lot of things here, okay? Showing you um, Netflix, Amazon Video, YouTube, uh, Google Play, Movies and TV. I'm going to be playing games on here, uh, browsing the internet, uh, showing you like photos and videos, okay? So let me start off with this first, okay? Let me start off with uh, photos and videos. So let me go into my gallery here. And now pretty much everything you can get on your phone, you're going to be able to screen mirror onto your TV, okay? You can even screen mirror if you have like Pandora or like Amazon Music. The only thing is like for me, I mean, if you have like a, a Bluetooth surround sound or Bluetooth, um, uh, any kind of device that's Bluetooth, then you can stream music from directly from uh, your Bluetooth, okay? Not needing the actual TV. However, there are times where I will um, uh, stream music to my TV and that's if people want to see the actual lyrics of the song, okay? Anyways, so here's some like photos here. You can see here's a video. Uh, here's some photos here. Of course, I can turn it to uh, landscape mode here. And I, of course, I, I'm able to uh, zoom in, zoom out. All right, so let's do this now. Uh, oh yeah, let's, uh, of course, you're able to browse the internet too. Anything you want to do on the Internet. Okay, you have to excuse my Wi-Fi connection. It's like um, it's like in and out all the time during this time of the day. Okay, so you can browse the internet. 
you can go on Facebook, Instagram, pretty much um, anything that you want to mirror, just go right onto your phone. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this down, put it in landscape mode for you, just like that. All right, so let's go into some applications here. So let's start off with this. Uh, let's start off with YouTube, okay? Let me tap on YouTube here. And here's a YouTube video here. I can press play. And there's a uh, headphone jack in here as well. So let's do this. Let me, oh yeah, in the back of here too, I mean, it is a And of course, if I raise, and increase the volume, uh, the volume and everything is coming here. directly from my TV, okay? So there's YouTube. Uh, let's do this. Let's go to uh, Google Play Movies and TV, okay? So let me tap on that. And let's see what we can do here. There you go. Quest for I can fast forward. Increase, decrease the volume here. And put that on pause. And then let's move to, um, let's go to Netflix here, okay? Let me tap on Netflix here. And I'll pop on some uh, Daredevil. Okay, I'll, I'll continue Daredevil where I left off last night. Maybe it was a warning shot. I mean, he could have finished you off, but didn't. Okay, let me put this on, your belt on pause now. Hey, let me show you this really fast too. If, if you guys have the Samsung Galaxy S6 or like S7, if you haven't been uh, introduced to like the Samsung Gear VR, like really look in the, blink, uh, the uh, link below. It's awesome, especially if you're watching like Netflix and stuff like that. You're actually, you can be in like a real movie theater. You can lay in bed. Look at the ceiling and watch the movie. That's what I do with Daredevil every night, but I'll put that link below. So next thing, let's do this now. Let's go to Amazon Video. Open up Amazon Video here. And let me just uh, resume. This here. The Rams are going to win this ball game. And, and of course, you can fast forward. Hey, I wasn't performing at the level that I was used to, you know. So, All right. Um, so let me go ahead and get out of Amazon Video now. And let's see here. Of course, you can um, stream Pandora if you have any big like, music apps. Okay, so now let's go to HBO Go. And I'll just put on a trailer here. Okay, so we'll do a quick preview of The Martian. Just watch a preview of that. At around 4.30, our satellites detected a storm. Let me just fast forward a little bit. And I'm gonna have designed the last 31 days. Can increase, decrease the volume here. All right, let me go ahead and put this, let me get out of this now. And last, let's go ahead and show you some gameplay. I'll play um, City Racing 3D here. All right, now if you can look at uh, both, both my phone and my TV, okay? Oops. Let me put the volume on this.
right, I think you pretty much got the message there. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll put a link below on the Amazon website where you can get the screen beam. And if you subscribe, share, like, I appreciate it. All right, thanks, bye.